This may well be the most petty thing I have ever done in my life. And I am a really, really petty person. I am also a firm believer in the way of malicious compliance. But this one, this one takes the cake. Anyway, so I bought a condo in a building in a large city in the US about two and a half years ago. The building has a HOA that we all pay into monthly. Since I've lived here in the building, it has rapidly deteriorated to the point where we've all hired an attorney for like a class action style lawsuit type thing. I'm talking broken elevators, broken doors, broken rooftops, broken AC units, the pool was closed for four months during the summer. The people in the building are a great bunch though and we are a very friendly bunch. Last year, I took the HOA to a small claims court because they failed to provide financial documents that show us how our fees are being spent. As this is a legal requirement for all HOAs in my state, I won the case and was awarded the $30 filing fee plus $1. It, it's symbolic. I sued for the documents, not for money. The fact that they can't provide the docs that they're legally required to is a separate issue among others, including possible crimes that we've hired attorneys to look into for us. I've asked the HOA to pay the $31 to me, but they're being awkward. And the president of the HOA wants to either meet me somewhere in private to give it to me, or he wants me to mail a satisfaction of judgment form to him that he'll sign and send back to me that I can then sign and send back to him and then he'll mail the check to me. Yeah, no, no to both. Three days after I won the case, the HOA announced that they were going to charge us all a special assessment fee of about $1,000 each, and an increase in our monthly dues by about 10%. Now in my state, a membership vote gets triggered if you charge a special assessment fee that brings the building more than 5% of its yearly income which means 51% of the owners must approve of the assessment for it to take effect. As this was big money, it's about 20% of our yearly income. A vote should have taken place. But the HOA, well the HOA said that it was being made under emergency measures, under the emergency clause, which means that the membership vote doesn't have to take place. The emergency, you might ask? The emergency was Fixing the elevator, the elevator that broke a year ago on December 24th, 2021. The elevator that's been broken for a year, a real emergency. The spirit of the emergency clause is for things like fire, earthquakes, floods, etc. Not stuff that broke and is such an emergency it took a year for them to get to. When there was understandable pushback, the HOA sent out a little email stating that Anyone who didn't pay the assessment would have a lien put on their unit. Well, the liens came down yesterday to those that couldn't pay the thousand dollars on short notice. Our attorneys told us that we have to pay even though the money is disputed. And I did pay mine, but we have a lot of people that are retirees or lower income people in the building that just can't cough up a thousand bucks on short notice. Well, the HOA's president's house is currently on the market for sale for just, just around $20 million. I just got back from the courthouse, where I filed a $31 lien against it for 140 bucks, clouding its title. It's a matter of principle, not, not money. Now, the title can't change hands until he pays me my $31, and I am perfectly within my right to collect on a judgment owed. It's one hell of a revenge, isn't it, guys? Right, if you like revenge stories and you want one that's great, how's a revenge freesome? Menage et toi a la revenge. Come on, that sounds juicy, right? Check it out in this video right here. Go there now, and I'll see you over there.